everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel, So for Serenity, where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back to those regular viewers that watch me all the time and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. Welcome to this week's Friday Sews, I hope you've all had a fabulous week, I have and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So Friday Sews is the hashtag that's been brought to you by Jen in Jen's Sewing Room where she created this hashtag so all of us lovely sewing bloggers could all come together under an easy simple hashtag. Um, so all you have to do is search in YouTube, hashtag Friday Sews and you will be inundated with vlogs on sewing. So let me tell you what I've been doing in the world of sewing this week. Well. This weekend I was away in Newcastle which was not sewing related or wasn't meant to be sewing related at all um, but I went away so there was no sewing I'm just going to put that caveat in I have done no sewing in have I done any sewing this week I haven't done any sewing this week basically so I have no garments to show you so apologies about that but yeah I was away from bank holiday weekend I have shared with you before that I am that I have struggled with anxiety in the past and part of what helps me with my anxiety and manages my mental health is I am part of a online support group for all types of emotions not just anxiety um, if you want to find out more about that please private message me I'm quite happy to share and um, I go to online meetings um, that were started up in Covid by some lovely people who live in Newcastle and obviously when COVID happened, they couldn't meet in person. So they created an online meeting and that online meeting has continued. Um, so we had a big meet up, which we have every year and we held it in Newcastle. So off I went up to Newcastle to see all of my lovely friends um, that helped support me in my mental health. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely fabulous. But while I was up there, I went to First Fabrics, exciting. Now I had messaged Tamlin beforehand and unfortunately she was in Santorini which was very disappointing because I would have loved to have caught with her for lunch or something but we knew she wasn't going to be there so it's fine but I still went to First for Fabrics and I'll share with you the fabric haul in a minute but when I went up there I was excited, it was so exciting and um I feel like I've already been there really because I buy from online. I obviously watch Tamlin's vlogs and her Instagram lives and all of that kind of stuff. So, just so I obviously have a feel for it. Um, but nothing could quite prepare you to being there in person. And it is a massive, massive warehouse, but it's not um, laid out like all higgledy piggledy it's really nice and ordered and you've got lots of room to browse i didn't take any footage but you can see pictures i didn't take any footage because i wanted to enjoy the experience um but obviously i will share with you what i've purchased and um yeah i loved it so i took a little photograph of me outside of first for fabric so i'll pop that up um and also with me holding my um goodies um, but yeah let me share with you what I purchased so first of all I purchased some beautiful um, stretch denim in this um, uh, stripe narrow stripe they have it in a few different colorways I did um and ah between this and the green got a little bit of stretch there for you which is perfect for bottoms so I'm going to probably make bought this in mind for making a pair of shorts um, and I got one and a half meters of this and it was 13.95 a meter so really reasonable um, and yeah I just think it's going to look super cute in a little white t-shirt or white shirt top um, and that's why I bought it for my holidays I'll put all the links to these in the in the notes below the second piece of fabric is one that I have I think seen Tamlin wear um, before and had my eye on it and it's actually been reduced to £6.70 a metre and it's this fabric which is a safari print fabric and it is beautiful it's so soft and lovely and I got two and a half metres of this um, with the mind to make a dress or a jumpsuit or something along those lines and they do it in a grey colourway as well and I just love all these little animals it's got zebras, elephants, tigers, giraffes and palm prints on it so that's really really nice I knew I was going to end up buying this, I just knew it. I, I said don't do it before I went, but yeah, I did. So for those of you that know, I have, I purchased at the Creative Craft Show this colourway of this stretch denim in, I think I got like nearly two and a half metres because I want to make a dress in it. I did initially think Bakerloo dress, but I'm thinking more now a patina shirt dress, patina hack shirt dress in this fabric. But anyway, so I've got quite a lot of that. But 
first for fabrics have both colorways they have that colorway and this lighter denim colorway which is just an embossed denim in leopard print and you know how much i like leopard print so this has got a little bit of stretch in it as well this is 12.95 a meter it's actually cheaper than what i paid for it i think i paid 14 pound a meter for the other color but it's 12 pound 95 on first for fabrics um and i've or i got a meter of this again i want to make some shorts in it and the reason why i got a meter is because it's a very wide fabric um so yeah that's going to be a pair of shorts the next fabric that I purchased, well, I got two meters of this and it's such good value. This is a viscose slub look um, with stretch. And you can just see, if I hold it up, you can see that kind of effect, that, that linen look effect. And I got two and a half meters of this and it was five pound a meter. Now it's a bit creased because I've washed it um, because I want to get this made up. I want to make a Gilbert shirt in this, which I share in my summer plans. Um, but yeah, this is all washed and ready to be kind of cut out for that um but yeah i got two and a half meters two meters five pound a meter so i got two meters for 10 quid and they have it in so many different colors it's unbelievable i wish i'd got some black when i was there as well but i can always order that separately but yeah that was really good value for money too the next couple of fabrics are for my little baby alice i keep calling my baby but she's not my baby she's not a baby is she she is three now going on 13. Uh, so this first fabric is just a plain viscose and i got one and a half meters in this cute, beautiful green color and that is to make alice some kind of little sundress i thought that'd be really nice it's just to look a plain dress for her um when i showed it her though she said it was boring which i can always rely on her to be brutally honest but maybe i'll put a bit of trim on it or something but yeah that was three pound a meter so you can't go wrong for that can you they have lots of different colors of this as well and then the next fabric that I got for Alice was one that I, I actually had this in a different colourway. I got it from um, Beyond the Pink Door. Um, I think it was one of the early boxes that I got from them. And I made it up into a dress. I got the orange and blue colourway. I'll put a photograph in so if I can see it. But they had the different colourways in First for Fabrics. And when I saw the pink colourway, so these pinks, purples and yellows, I thought Alice would look gorgeous in a little dress like that made out of that so i showed her this one and she loved it she said it was really pretty so yeah i've got one and a half meters of that um and i think that is look absolutely stunning i think they might have sold out of this colorway now but there are other colorways as well i think it was six pounds 70 a meter as well so not too expensive and then the next two fabrics were kind of bargain basement <laughs> type purchases which probably only i would like <laughs> but i'm going to show you anyway so this was in the bargain bucket bin um which was basically two pound a meter for anything in there there was just over two meters of this and it's basically um a knit fabric it's not got much stretch at all in it really um it'd be great for a cardigan or something but yeah it's in this beautiful like leopard print i think it's beautiful beautiful um graduated leopard print with burnout in it which i just absolutely love and i'm thinking like maybe it could be a dress it could be a cardigan um yeah it could be many things so this cost me four pounds for all of this and i just i just love the piece of fabric and then the final one is um a mesh fabric as you know i'm in a love affair having a love affair with mesh fabric at the moment i made my recreate the look dress in a mesh leopard print so when i saw this i had to have it and this was three pound a meter and it's this beautiful leaf print in a mesh Oop. so i got two meters of this and again probably gonna look at making something very similar um to what i made before because i just absolutely love it so yeah loads of stretch really reasonably priced and yeah just thought the fabric was stunning so i had snapped that up as well so i purchased a few other things as well i purchased some buttons and some trim and some elastic so i have some leather look plisse fabric that i've been looking for the right fabric sorry looking for the right piece of elastic to to be the waistband for me to turn it into a skirt and i finally found it um, and this is it this was a prim elastic with this beautiful gold and i think that with my black leather plisse will look gorgeous so just attach that to the plisse and then you've basically got a skirt um that is was three pound something i think three pound 95 for a meter of it so that was a bargain and then the next thing i got was some trim so i got 
a meter of this did I or a meter and a half I think it's about 70 pence and it's just a lovely bit of pink heart trim that I just purchased because I saw it and I thought it was cute it was about 70p as I say um so I've got that for something for Alice and then the final thing that I found was some beautiful beautiful buttons which are basically daisies they're um a shank button so you can see at the back of a shank button which are a bit of a pain to sew on but they are lovely and then these daisies how cute are they um so i got eight of those and they were i think they were 80p each so yeah really really like them ones. so they was that all my purchases they were all my purchases so you know i spent a fair bit i think i spent 95 pounds on everything altogether which I had a budget of 100 so I was quite happy with that um, and it was like you know a one-time visit to First Fabrics I'm not going to get there for another year probably now anyway so that was my visit to First for Fabrics the other exciting thing that I did was I got to meet the lovely Alison from So Like Dotty. So we arranged to meet up in the local Starbucks just around the corner from um, First for Fabrics. And oh, she just looked stunning. She had a beautiful dress in it in this Liberty print um, that I have seen her talk about with a lovely poofy sleeve. She looked lovely. Um, and we met up in Starbucks and we just chatted and chatted and chatted. And it was so lovely. We got so deep with our conversations. I don't think we actually talked about sewing much, to be honest with you. Um, we were just talking about life. Um, kids um you know mental health we were just talking about lots of things so it was really really refreshing and to be honest i could have stayed there all afternoon but i had to leave so i had to get and check into my hotel so yeah it was just an amazing amazing day i put a photo in of me and alison got a really nice photo of us both and yeah it was just great so hopefully um it won't be the last time that i meet um, alison but yeah it was just great to see her in person so then this week i haven't really done any sewing there's been a lot of i've done some quite a few vlogs i've done my summer plans vlog i've been doing my unboxings for my little miss so-and-so box um editing and then i've been cutting out quite a lot of patterns so i've cut out my little miss so-and-so pattern that came through um i've cut out the donny pattern printed and cut out the donny pattern printed and cut out the gilbert shirt um and that's what i've been doing this week really it's as i say been quite busy but I'm hopeful that this week I'll get quite a lot of sewing done. The main thing that I want to get done this week is I want to get my um, kilo wrap dress cut out. That is something I really, really want to get done and sewn up. Um, the kilo wrap dress I have shared in my June plans and my summer sewing. So I won't go on about it for too long, but it's in this Lady McElroy viscose jersey that I got from, I think I got it from Minerva. It's in stock on Minerva now. And I'm going to make a kilo wrap dress in this. So I'm going to cut this out. I've tried on my old kilo wrap dress and because all you need to worry about is the bust measurement and that's really I've only put an inch on in my bust it's the weight my weight carries in my lower half I think I'm just going to cut out the size that I've already made because it fits me and I'm continuing to lose weight so yeah that's what I'm going to do I think cut out the size 10 um I think so anyway if not I'll print the 12 off maybe I'll go for a 12 but I don't know anyway we don't have to worry about the hip or waist measurements because the kilo wrap dress has um obviously the um side panels which come out so there's plenty of room in there and this viscose jersey is very very stretchy so that's my main plan this week the other plans that i've got which i have shared on my june plans vlog is to get my works in progress finished i've got the ligand robe that i made that i've started making for my friend debbie here which i need to finish and i've also got my carry shirt which is a fiber move pattern um this is it which i need to finish off as well because they start to overwhelm me if i have too many um kind of build up so they were on my rack and i kept looking at them thinking i really really need to um, get them so up. so that's the plan um i'm filming this um on the thursday the first of june so um today i'm going to be choosing my next month's box for little miss seven so even though i haven't even started making my maze box um so i'm gonna be choosing june's box um and I've already had a look at the fabrics and the pattern and I'm really, really happy. So yeah, looking forward to that as well. Some other things that I wanted to mention, I have talked about it in my June plans video, but I did want to put a shout out on this vlog here, is there are a couple of challenges coming up in the month of June. And those challenges are 
So Fruity, which is run by the lovely Yvette from Blossom Sandwich. I actually won a prize last year. I'll put in, um, was it last year or was it the year before? I can't remember, but I won a prize um, for an entry that I did last year. Um, I think I won a voucher for Hey So Sister. Um, and that was for a little fruity dress that I made for Alice, or it might have been a t-shirt. I can't remember. I made a couple of um, entries. So that's something that I'm going to be um, entering this month, but I haven't decided on the fabric or pattern yet. So that is to come. And then the other one that I want to tell you about is the, is the hashtag so blood pressure UK 23. And that is being run by the lovely Bianca from B Silver Creates. She lost her dad to um, a blood pressure related illness quite suddenly um, recently and she wants to raise awareness and money for that Char Blood Pressure UK charity. So she's challenging us all to pick up that item of clothing that you've been wanting, or that item that you've been wanting to sew that you've been putting off and putting off and um, get it sewn up basically and then pop it on under that hashtag and uh, donate to Blood Pressure UK and tag in her and UK Fabrics Online who are the amazing sponsor for this challenge. So for both of those challenges, get your thinking cap on. Please support it. Um, they're great, great challenges and great, great, both of them are great, great vloggers and YouTubers and really active in the in the sewing community. So we really need to um, support them as best we can. I'll put all the details for these challenges all in the notes below and the rules and everything will be posted around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, just follow the hashtags. So that's all for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you don't subscribe, subscribe um, i'm getting close to 4,000 subscribers and when i say close i'm probably about 300 off but that's close to me <laughs> so yeah please if you don't subscribe already please 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 subscribe it means so much to me it helps me get my vlog out to more and more people and the more you like and subscribe the more my vlog gets out there to people so yeah hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you all soon happy sewing